It is going down this week. I'm back with a few news story. Power Beats Pro, they released, right? Apex Legends, Google I.O., specifically the Pixel 3a, and more. As we do our thing on this sophisticated Saturday, and we tech it out. Welcome back to Mike Text It Out. It's the Saturday news show where we go over a few stories. What's popping currently in the hood, outside of the hood, and in the general vicinity of urban neighborhoods. So let's get right into it. And our first story is gaming related. You know, the video games. Apex Legends is going to go mobile. So it's not really a shock because Fortnite and PUBG have had their mobile versions out for a while. And it makes sense because Apex is right up there with them as far as popularity. So they're going to come out with their own mobile version. Honestly, it probably makes a lot of money. There's a lot of young people that play these games. So a mobile version makes sense. Hopefully it's of the quality standards of PUBG and Fortnite. Because honestly, I'm not really into mobile shooters that much. But they both put out competent mobile shooters like obviously i would prefer still to play on the console or pc but i do feel like those two games are very playable and the cell phone version and the graphics are great i mean I, that's not really surprising because cell phones have really come a long way with graphics apple always brags about how their graphics are up here up here or somewhere more powerful than the baseline xbox one you know the sales stuff so I'm happy for Apex. I need to play more Apex. I need to play more games in general. I'm sad about life. I'm sad. Leave me alone to grieve. Leave. And other news related to some popular streaming device company. You may have heard of them. They're called Roku. So apparently they have like 29 million users. But they ain't making no money so they're still in the hole money wise which is shocking because like everything has roku fucking built into it you can get a roku panini maker like you can get a roku gucci watch it's just a regular watch that has a roku built like you can't like you literally have to plug the watch into a tv it's not a real thing i'm just making stuff up but still like rokus are so cheap and they're built into so many cheaper tvs and even expensive tvs you figure they'd be making a profit, um, but since there is such a large install base, I'm sure that they will eventually make a profit. Um, it's not really anything to worry about, but I just found it weird because they've been around for such a long time. You'd think that they'd be profitable, um, but we'll see. I guess a lot of the devices are cheaper, and maybe they hinged a lot of money into some of these manufacturing deals with TV makers. TCL is a huge one. I actually have a TCL TV with the built-in Roku and it is mwah, mwah. They did a good job. They did a really good job with the interface. I like the whole how you just have the inputs on the Roku interface and then you just select what you want. So it's not my favorite interface. My favorite is still the Apple TV, at least currently, but it's definitely second. And then third is probably gonna be the Fire Stick. I mean, the Fire Stick's all right. I just feel like it's too conv over convoluted. In a lot of cases my opinion but roku is going to be fine they're going to have their steak and clam dinner and they will be back on track i am sure of it i don't know why i got so angry i don't know why i got so angry Ugh! moving forward to a more profitable company apple of course under the beats logo released the power beats 3 officially on may 10th the reviews have been out there. I really want to get my hands on them, but I know like the $250 I can't really afford right now. Sadly, if there is a way for me to get them, I'd really like to try them. But as you can see from my other videos, I kind of have too many headphones right now. And I just got the Power Beats 3, which are awesome. And I thought that like getting these cheap Power Beats 3 were gonna quench my thirst when these came out, but they didn't. Like now that I have the Power Beats 3 and they're so good, I'm like, but these are better, but they're also $250. But the reviews that I've seen at least 
that everybody's been saying good things about them, which is kind of to be expected. And I think, you know, using the AirPods and seeing how seamlessly, like, they just pair up with Apple devices and how easy it is to switch between Apple devices. And then having that in a sports headphone, like, for me, that could be, like, my everyday, like, replace my AirPods headphones. I know the charging case is bigger, but to me, that's not a big deal. Like, even when I, like, when I go to the gym, when I was using my AirPods, even though the case is small, I still left it in the locker. Like, I leave everything in the locker. And all I have with me are my headphones and my Apple Watch. And that's it. And everything else I just do on my Apple Watch. I don't... I like to travel very light when I'm going around the gym. So these would be awesome because they would fill my gym need. And then they would fill my portable headphone need. And they would be all together. So let me know what you guys think as far as what's out there about the Power Beats Pros. I think it's a compelling product to buy i think the airpods 2 kind of left that hole like people wanting more and i think this is kind of like quenching that thirst for right now until we get like a proper follow-up to the airpods with better battery life and more features than just the siri thing which the power beats also do all right getting down to our final story so as you know google io was this week um i talked about the pixel 3 leaks on the last episode so those all turned out to be true. Um, the other stuff they announced was pretty exciting too. It was a lot of software related stuff. Like they're gonna have a driving mode. So when your phone's in the car, it's kind of, it's, it's gonna give you limited access to things. So that way you don't have to like poke around with your phone as much. Apple has done something similar, has been doing something similar. Well, they, what it is, they put your phone in do not disturb mode. If you connect to like a Bluetooth car stereo. So for instance, I have the Ford Sync stuff. So when I connect over Bluetooth, when it works, Ford, uh, my phone automatically goes into do not disturb mode. So basically, like, with the Apple stuff, you just don't get notifications and stuff on your phone while you're driving. And when you go to do something on your phone, it says do not disturb while driving is on. So not only do you have to unlock your phone, but you have to say I'm not driving to get into the phone. So theirs is more so to, you know, prevent people from texting and driving, whereas Google's it seems like it's serving to do that, but it's also just trying to add some more convenience features like being able to book a reservation without having to do much with your phone or something like that. Um, they also are adding AR to Google search on the Pixel 3s and they're adding AR to Maps, which will be out, I believe, later this year. Well, I can't remember if the AR map thing is coming out soon for pixel 3 or that's already out but yeah google maps ar is cool for walking directions basically like you can look at your phone and it's going to use ar to put the directions on the screen versus just having a map and trying to figure it out so you'll see like going down the street and they'll have like the arrow to turn here that actually seemed pretty cool but the main thing we came here to talk about was that pixel 3a and axl so you got the pixel 3a at 399 you got the 3a xl at three or 479 sorry and it's pretty much what I thought is a mid-range Pixel 3 phone. But it's been a bigger deal than I expected, at least for me. Because, like, phone prices have gotten ridiculous. So for Google to come out with these phones that offer the same camera software as their bigger Pixel 3 line. I mean, it's probably not the same quality camera, but it's offering the same software tricks. And what I saw the reviews, the pictures aren't that different from the regular Pixel 3, and it still has an OLED screen that's above 1080p resolution. Like, it's, they really like, for a budget phone, they really packed a lot into it. That's like a compelling, like, damn, like, if I'm really looking for a phone right now and I wanna go a cheap option, that's a good ass option. Like, yeah, Apple has a 10R, but the 10R isn't cheap. It's still like around $800, so. And it still has an LCD screen. They put an OLED screen in a phone that's $400. That's what blew my mind. So I think it's good. I really hope this phone does well because I really want to see lower priced phones from Apple. And the funny thing is, so at my new job, there's been two people there that have had the 10R and I literally didn't even know it was a 10R until I saw the back of their phones and I saw that there were different colors. Like, I think one one of them has the red one and one of them has, like, the blue one. 
And I was like, oh, I really just thought it was a regular iPhone 10. And then I got me thinking, like, did I really waste $1,200 to get the Max? And I probably would have been perfectly happy with the 10R. This is kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I am kind of over the whole pricing thing. Like, at first, I was like, oh, I'm getting a good value because I'm getting all this extra stuff. But then when you look at it, like, yeah, on paper, it's better. But in reality, like, day-to-day -day use, it doesn't make that much difference, especially since the 10R is packing the same processor as the 10s and the 10s max so i think that higher end phones have just gotten like way out there in pricing wise so for google to offer something compelling at the lower end hopefully we'll shift things back the other way because i really don't want to buy another thousand dollar phone anyway that's going to wrap up this episode of mike text it out if you enjoyed this video remember to tell a friend tell a co-worker like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment if there's some stories you think I should cover for next week. And as always, remember to do at least two things at the same time. Peace.